Yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo, yo, but say yo. What's going on, uh, my band of dysfunctionites? We are the defunct dysfunctional YouTube channel of Calibria Crystal Guardian, and we like that. We like that. We like it. We like it. We like it. We like it. Shout out to the comment section. Carmen has uh, lit a fire in my ass, and I, I appreciate it, Carmen. Um, it was great. Uh, it gave me good ideas of what I need to do for my channel future wise content that I need to actually bring out, you know, more inspiration. So I, I shout out to the comment section, everybody that do comments. I promise you, I, I love the comment that y'all give. I love the feedback and we're going to grow this channel. Okay. Um, I told you that uh, last video that I was going to wait to reserve the update What's going on with the update until after. So here we are. So let's talk about this update that was a lot of hype and it was not lived up to the hype. <sighs> All right, folks, before we get to that, here's, here's, here's my five cent, two nickels, and a dime on this situation, okay? The developers need help and they refuse to believe they need help. So you can't really help somebody who's not willing to help themselves. You know, um, the game is great. The game, the game is something I enjoy. So it's something that a lot of people enjoy. But, however, comma, there are things that they do in this game that the developer does that makes you wonder and make you say, what the world? For instance, let's talk about the first thing on the, uh, the, the sheet. The Guild War revamp system, right? If you were a part of the Guild War revamp system, please leave a comment in the comment section and let us know what it is. As you can see on this account right here, I'm in a guild. We ain't the greatest guild in the world, but we love each other. And one of the deputies, right? So I had the option, according to this update system, to join part of this newly revamped Guild War system that they're supposed to implement, right? From Tuesday to Saturday. No time whatsoever, and I kept on checking, was that possible? So my question is, why is it, as a developer, one, you're not listening to the, the, the community when we tell you about things that's going on. Instead of fixing bugs, you ban people. Two, instead of fixing the room, I mean, the, the event packs that y'all have to make it be something that people could actually use and value, y'all refuse to listen. And instead of just hearing the voice of the people who's trying to grow your game, you literally just said no. If you haven't noticed, you, know, you don't want to compare a game, like for instance, Calibria to uh, Epic 7 to Summoner's War to Ray Shadow Legend, right? It's not really a fair... Everybody wants to be on their own merit, and I get that. But if your competitor, which you are competing now, you don't want to be compared to them, but you are competing. If your competitor are doing things and you see that their numbers are spiked for the things they do, you don't have to copy or mimic, but you could do something relevant. When Summoner's War saw that Calibria was picking up steam, they came out with something to counteract that. When they some of those walls saw that Epic Seven is now picking up steam, they're like, "Oh, cool! We could do arc, we could do uh, we could do uh, art, uh, what they call it again? Um, artifacts too. You know, hey, come over here. We can still, you know, if that's what you want, we can do artifacts too." Calibre Chris the Guardian have no desire to compete, and that's not a good thing. Oh, uh, the point is, competition brings out innovation and as many times on discord you can check for yourself this is not just me just trying to be a debbie donger you can check out for yourself um discord and you can see where people has bought certain things to the developers and they just dismiss it they dismiss it and they tell you in the heartbeat that they really don't their answer they go to answer is that we're not them and the question is, we don't want you to be them. That's why we're playing you. We asking you to do better with what you have. You know, let's let's have some bug fixes. 
let's have some people don't wait till your patch on the 15th and the 30th to fix issues. If you could do a hot fix, do a hot fix. Don't ban players because you do not want to fix your game. That's all I'm saying. At the end of the day, don't ban players for issues that is brought to your attention and you refuse to fix. That is the only thing I I, I really wanted to say. I'm just showing this one right now to show you that, uh, remember the whole fix bug fix was basically based on um, Cleo. Because she was the one that was doing all the revive that was having all the issues. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he kills a bunch of people and then we can see. Come on. Come on, guy. You're not slow. <clears throat> ah, kill somebody. Ah, right, there we go. Let's see what the revive do. Oh. One. Okay, you hit that. All right. So the revive seemed to be in effect. So we at least got one fix out of it, right? We at least got one fix out of it. But this is what I'm talking about when I say, I ain't mean to take, do that again. Did I mean to do that? This is what I mean by just simple quality control fix. So let's go over to it. The Guild Wars system honestly didn't take place. If you if it took place with you, please once again put it in a comment section because I didn't see it and I'm a deputy in the guild and I didn't have the option to set my guild up and I tried. I really did. So I could just bring YouTube content out, you know what I'm saying? Spire did get increased by 100. That's a wonderful thing. Spire did get increased by 100. Um, don't speak simplified Chinese. I can't tell you how that goes. Storage. This is what I'm talking about. Let's talk about storage. Storage increase was a wonderful thing. We now have a thousand rooms. But look at how it is. Pre look how look how it's presented. Look how it's presented. You telling me there was a QC involved to say run 686 was acceptable? Was that was was that really acceptable that nobody in the whole organization said, you know what? We might want to make that a little bit more presentable. <sighs> it is what it is. Content creator code, persistent content creator code. Uh shout out to Spaceball. He was the only person that I know. He's the only person that's been stated to have one. So out of all the people that's making YouTube videos, the question now becomes, are you helping the content creator create content to bring more people to your game? As, at this moment in time, I thought about it and I was like, you know what? I really don't even care to be part of the content creator program no more. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not... I'm not, at first it was exciting and all that. Let me tell you why I'm not excited about the content creator program no more. In Discord, they had a content creator channel. And the developers would step in once in a while. And we asked, you know, as content creators, can we get some heads up, you know, a day notice, a day before what's going on so we could, you know, create some content around it so when it comes out the next day, we have some videos ready, we have some information we could ask some questions that may not be explained, but they could watch our videos and see what's going on. Fair enough, right? We're selling your product. Tell us about the product so we could sell it to others. Seems reasonable. Didn't happen. As many times as I ask about what's coming out, you know what they do? They go into the leak section of Discord and put in the leak section. So, I mean, realistically speaking, if you don't have Discord and you're not seeing that, then yeah, of course, it is what it is. But then you shortchange the content creators. Like you literally circumvent the content creators and just say, we have the information and we're going to release it over here. We could have gave it to you guys to give you all a heads up and help you guys grow your channel in order for us to grow. One hand washes the other. None of that was going on. And that was going on for a while. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we would get certain things and was told, yeah, I think it was like three times we were told certain things we could release that gave us a head up, heads up notice. And if you look back on any content creator channel, that brought excitement. That brought 
some you know gusto to the to the to the whole thing but they didn't think it as valuable i guess because in the back of their mind they was going to do a content creator program so they didn't want that secondly once again we don't want to compare and whatever right but you you've been there right you've seen where other games once you use a content creator code you get like a free five star like it's all the rage on raid shadow legend you know what i'm saying sign up now and get a free five star you know what I'm saying? It might be the credit five star, but you got a free five star, right? Content creator program, you get a four star. A four star that you're going to get regardless because at the end of the day, you don't have like a great pool to choose from. So at the end of the day, you're going to get the four star regardless. You, If you're missing a four star, get yourself one of those uh, uh, legendary scrolls that's supposed to give you four and five stars, and you're not going to get a five star. All you're going to get is four. I could tell you that right now. I have gotten that pack and I got ogres back to back. I've seen Spaceball open up many and all out of 34, all he got was four stars. So if you need four stars, they got a four star pack. No five stars in it, just four stars. So for a content creator to excite people to come to the channel and to say, oh my gosh, this content creator got this kind of five star. You tell me you can't do a five star for a content creator? So, nah. At first, I, all I want right now is a Schumer shirt. Just give me my Schumer shirt, and I'm happy. Just give me my, my Schumer shirt so I can wear it when I do my video. Put a nice little Schumer on my shirt, and I'm okay. I don't, I, I'm, I'm not really now excited. If the, if the content uh, creator program is like the content creator page that they had on Discord, there is no benefit. It's just it is what it is. Um, one of the pluses of being a content creator is that Twitch event. That Twitch event was exciting. Uh, shout out to Spaceball. He did a good job. I got I to gotta tip my hat to you, sir. Matter of fact, standing ovation. For their first ever content creator, you did set the bar high. You did set the bar high, and I, I, I enjoyed it, especially that guess the number part. I think that was the greatest part of the whole thing. It was hysterical. So if you could cut that little clip and put it on YouTube, I watch it every morning. I promise you, you probably have like a billion uh, video watch on that. That was hysterical. Um, the special event section, we did get some uh, free five stars and we did get some four stars. So that was a good event. Once again, this is where it goes into you not helping yourself uh, this is not supposed to be a rent video. It's supposed to be a summon video. That it was supposed to be. But why would you do an event page and tell nobody about the event? If you're not on Discord or Facebook, or if you're a kid and your mom tell you, and your mom and dad tell you you can play the game, but they don't really want you to be on social media because a lot of creeps on there and we ain't got time for that. How are you supposed to know there's an event? It wasn't. E there is a section, people. <laughs> there is a section. There is a section that says limited event. And it was not there. It was not there. A section says limited event. And it wasn't in the limited event section. I'm going to do some run while I go into my... Uh my talking mode. I already know what I got on these. I'm gonna do some run. But um so this is these are certain things that kind of boils my apple and you know shave my back hair. He's the thing that does that. Because at the end of the day, how do you do an event? New five star came out, tire. Tear, however you want to pronounce it, he came out. It was an LD uh, Nav 5. Awesome, great. I'm not mad about that. But you also had LD Nav 4s, two of them, and LD and a chaotic Nav 5 that you, according, this is their words now, is now in the game, not accessible. So we're creating things for people that we can't get and we can't use 
how is that helping you out? How is that helping us out? Put the put the put the things out there. Put it out there. It don't hurt you to put it out there. Look, they just had a big announcement on uh the other game, SW. C, if you don't know what that means, I ain't gonna say it. That's an event done right. You know what I'm saying? That's a that's a an event done right. That's something that brought so much attention to the game. Can you honestly say to yourself, hey, I play Calibria Guardians and it's pretty good and there's no bugs and the content creator really care about You could go on Discord and you could go into the search engine and type in CCG to see their answers to certain things. And you just say plain and simple, either you don't care, don't appreciate us, or you have no desire to try to make yourself better. I, it, it just comes down to a point like that. So, as I said before, I'm not going to be a Debbie Downer on my videos. I just want to, you know, but sometimes you just got to bring certain things to light. You know what I'm saying? The bug fixes. Master Tail got nerfed. That was not a fix. He got nerfed. It, it, it is what it is. Because honestly, the his skills makes him useless. Now you have a useless Nat 5. Is he valuable in one aspect of the game over the other? I guess, maybe. And I mean, I could still use him here in uh, Hydra. I guess this one don't have no runes on him because he's not doing nothing. He still hits hard in Hydra Boss. He don't hit hard and nothing else, but he still hits hard uh, high in Hydra Boss. So I guess that's a plus. But other than that, that was a nerf. Everything else was done with uh, Cleo in mind. Uh, Cerebus still is doing good now. So all those minor bug fixes that could have happened months ago finally took place. So, yay. But I don't want to keep giving credit to certain things that were supposed to. Like, I don't want to be that guy that gives you credit for something that you're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, my gosh, you're a good parent. Like, yeah, that was your job to be a good parent. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my gosh, you just a man. My teacher really taught me something. Yeah, that's his job. He's a teacher. He says so in the title. Teacher. So the day he decided to teach shouldn't be a rewards and confetti moment. That was the job. So I can't. I'm glad they fixed some of the bugs, but I can't get on a, a hooray bandwagon for something that a QC person that they say they have hired was supposed to do that never did. Like I said before, in the hundred. In the 100 rune update, they're supposed to get that fixed. It's going to come on the next patch. We're going to fix that. So do we give them credit for fixing something as simple as making sure that your aesthetics is pleasable? Should 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 that be the case? So with that being said, I'm going to stop the ranting and raving at that moment of time. And just say thank you for fixing issues that you created. Um, there were more that was created. We're not going to talk about that. I'm going to bring back, I'm going to bring back the Friday bug report. So if you find any bugs or any issues whatsoever in the game, please put it in the comment section. And what I would do is I would see, can I recreate it? And if I could recreate it, I'll do a video. And on Fridays, I just release the Friday bug report and then just put it out there. If they want to fix it, they want to fix it. If they don't, they don't, you know what I'm saying? At this moment of time, I think their answer to most things is to ban players for things that they don't want to fix or do, which is a crying shame. It is a crying shame. I understand some people feel a certain way about it, but the reality of the situation is at this moment of time, you can't keep giving leeway and accepting subpar services. Like once you once you start accepting we as a community, once you start accepting mediocrity, that's all you're gonna get from them. You know what I'm saying? So I say the things I say, not to be a Debbie Downer, but to let them know we cannot just keep doing mediocrity and thinking that we should be happy with that. You know, that shouldn't be the case. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to show my support for the game because I do love it. And what I did was I bought 
two packs. I bought an LD Hundo pack and a room pack, hundred hundred dollars. So I just wasted in three days about three hundred. I also bought that other pack that they had also, which was the best value pack ever. And uh, if you're wondering why what I got from those other ones, because I had like six thousand um, thing, and I'm not gonna be summoning no more for a while, because I can't get what I want. I try to convert, and I can't get it. So therefore, I got a Draconian Princess. I I converted one of my Noctora and got a Draconian Princess because it was my fault for not doing the event. So they punished me by giving me a Draconian Princess. Oh, sorry, they rewarded me. They rewarded me by giving me a Draconian Princess because they knew I missed that event that they didn't announce. So they 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 looked out for me. Thank you, CCG. And if you're looking for Bone Kings, I have them all. As you see, there's three the last time. And since the last time, I summoned another one. And just when I was about to level it up, I summoned another one again. Uh, one of them has been converted. One has been sanctified. I'm trying to figure out I don't want to sanctify the other ones. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep five Bone Kings. You know what I'm saying? They keep giving it to me. I'm going to have me a Bone King army. Because after a while, I'm going to have an army of the undead. And I'm just going to do a whole content on nothing but the undead. So it is what it is. So let's go back into what I just purchased and see what I got. There's the five LD. There's the gems. There's the whatever. All right. So let's see what it is. Is it good? Crit damage. I can actually use that. I'm actually, I got a, I need crit damage. I mean, when you have so much Bone King, that's all you could do. That's the reason I got this right here. Uh, we do crit rate. I'm happy with that. Attack slot six with crit damage. Oh, I could give me some all crit damage. I'll be happy. Nothing about that. That's going to be converted whenever the six with crit rate oh man if this was say speed this would be great but hopefully i roll all crit damage i said before i just need crit damage from my bone kings crit rate i could get crit rate off that defense and if you look at it too if you look at the other game that came out they made their dungeon to where you can only get Nat six runes. You know what I'm saying? When you do, you go like I, I dungeon from 10 to 12. Like the difference between 10 and 12 is nothing. Like, what's the point of having a dungeon 12 if the rune selection of just dropping fives are the same? Oh, oh man. When you see other people doing things and you like, wow, that is such much the common sense fact and, and go on Discord. Let's go on Discord. And CCG was like, we did that on purpose. We made sure that you were screwed on purpose. That's that literally it's on Discord. Don't believe me. Go on Discord, type in CCG. And when you're gonna see somebody ask about the rune dropping, and they're like, Yeah, we screwed you on purpose on that one. For sure. Just like the Kalianite. We're doing those on purpose in order for us to not make other content. Because so long as you complain about that, you can't ask for anything else. Look it up, look it up, look it up, look it up. Yeah, I just need to attack. All right, let me see. I haven't got my L, uh, my legendary one yet, have I? I got one, okay. Got two. Did I get two? Maybe I'm delusional. Speed, crit rate. As long as I roll all crit rate, I'm happy. It won't. Still, just crit rate is needed. I don't want to need a crit rate one, but it can be helpful. Nope. Speed. Definitely rehab. Can't do nothing but rehab this one, but I take it. I appreciate it. Uh. And not bad sub stats, but for defense, Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, I'm getting a lot of legendary. I appreciate. Oh, this is nice. If I could get quad roll into everything but flat attack, if it could be quad roll speed, I'm happy. If it's flat roll quad speed attack, I'm happy. If it's quad rolls into crit rate, I'm happy. So long as it's quad roll, I am definitely happy with that one. And uh, no, definitely need to crit damage on that. If you give me crit damage, I could use it. Uh, speed is the only thing that you need. Uh, so that's it right there. And I said before, for the whole month of July, I'm not spending an, another red cent on this. Oh, July is over. August. For the month of August, I'm not spending any. I can't. I can't. It's gonna be some. It got to be something very significant that comes up that will cause me to do that. All right, so let's go with that. So we got that. Let's buy what? So three pack is three thousand. Three pack is three thousand gems. No, four pack is three thousand gems. We could buy three packs though. Two, three. And we good because the rest needs to be for farming. Heroes has put some things in the shop. Because I now need to uh, build. I'm going to just go and do the growth plan. I'm just going to be focused on growth plan and try to get that done. I'm doing LD Nav 5. As a matter of fact, I make it like this. If I get me an LD Nav 5, I will consider buying growth plan, uh, other packs in the future. If I don't, I'm definitely not buying none for the month of August. So if I get me an LD Nav, that's how we go. LD Nav 5 or bust. If I get an LD Nav 5, yes, I will buy more packs. Of course, I wouldn't get no skill cats. So let's summon, people. Let's summon. We're looking for Fallen Angel. Or, um, yeah, Fallen Angel or a Succubus would be really nice too, right? A Succubus would be real nice. And this is what's going on with my summons. Like, once if I go on my phone, it's all ogre. That's all I'm getting is all the ogres. It's the same thing over and over again. So I guess they really... Decided they was going to stick it to me, huh? There's some of these five right here. Skip. Since we weren't getting any L uh, nat five from the other one. Skip. Well, I guess I guess I will be saving my money for the month of August. <laughs> got two kids calibria two then you give me this one what this ah oh, and if i convert it i mean oh i don't have a mikhail i see space ball talking about this room is not this hero is not the greatest. Ah! I knew I was going to save money for the mother August. I knew it. I just had a feeling. Oh, they got me good, man. They got me good. They got me good, man. They got me good. Oh, man. They got me good. Oh, they got me good. Oh, they really got me good. Oh, God. Oh. 
Lumi! <laughs> I miss you, Lumi. You have not showed up in the last 50 summons. I, I miss you, Lumi. I miss how you doing, Lumi? How you doing? How you doing? I, I made a deer earlier and I was like, I was gonna do something. And Calibria's like, ha ha ha. He's selling his soul, folks. And they, they gave me a Lucifer. Like, that that's the only thing I could think of. They're like, ha, okay, we're going to see how much your soul is worth. And they gave me a Lucifer just to prove a point. That's what they did, Lumi. Uh, we're just having a conversation. But, yeah, between me and you, you know, I, I, I thought it would be a cold day in hell before I got me a, a LD, Nav 5. And because you were cold and we had a bond. But uh, apparently, um, I end up getting an LD Nav 5 previously that I have, uh, oh man, um, yeah, 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 That's some of the last one, because why not, right, <sighs> oh, another lightning, are you serious, are you serious, oh god, oh, you're not taking all my money, you can have a kidney and one big toe, but you're not getting all I gotta buy other packs now. I gotta buy other packs. I got. I'm okay. This video is over with. I'm sorry. This video is over. Okay. Thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe because I need your subscription in order to start getting monetary compensation from YouTube in order to buy more packs for the month of August. Uh, August. So support me because they took my soul. Anya, say yo.